is wasted! Check my. You're off your game, Dad. Yes, I suppose I am. Nothing like a hanging to upset some people. Yes, funny that. Another game? Is the condemned man allowed a last meal? Well, Doc, I don't know what we've got in the larder, but. Sure. Hey, kid! Kid! Here. Why don't you go see if you can rustle up some grub for us? There was nothing I could do. I know, kid. Why is that funny? Now go on now, I can handle him. Yeah. And see if you can find any smokes, Marlboro Reds. They just now canceled the flights. <laughs> so you're saying this cannot simply be an organized Another game back. Perhaps on the dark web as people Why not? The dark web. On the dark web. To organize people to die and come back from the dead. Okay, so what happened then, Corporal? Well, the pilot either lost control or turned. But either way, just like you, we hit that ground real fast. Gravity's a bitch, ma'am. <clears throat> hmm. Yes, it is. And her? Who, honey? She and some guy bail us out right after the crash. He got separated, but she decided to stay. At least she's good with a gun. Yeah, that's good enough. What about the rest of the team? I really don't know. It all happened so very fast. If anybody survived, they could be anywhere. Well, let's get this show on the road! What? No less meal? Oh, I'm guessing you'll be a meal real soon. Even though killing me greatly reduces your chances of survival. Why would you say that, Doctor? Well, for one thing, I'm smarter than any one of you. Not smart enough to beat me in chess. Yet, smart enough to know all the little details much going on. The little details that could mean the matter between life and death. Like what details? Well, I've been watching Mr. Jackson, the one you call Kid. What about him? Despite being in that horrendous truck for over a minute, none of the dead ever tried to bite him. So? So, they're changing. They have been since the beginning. Changing in what way, Doctor? They're so much more intelligent. <laughs> this was all I could find. That'll do, son. That will do. Mr. Jackson, please let me look at your arms. But 
fight. Doc here says they didn't try to fight you in the back of the truck. Turn around. It's clean. Got a scratch on it. Tell us, Doctor, how can this be? I suspect it's because he's vegetarian. That's a good one, Doc, but the kid's no vegetarian. How? How'd you know that? One of the parameters of my employer was to eliminate meat-eating humans as priority one. I've heard enough. Showtime, Doc! <laughs> Time to die. Even if I could potentially reverse the process? You can cure it? Possibly. Bullshit! Doctor, you told us all of these people are dead. They are reanimated dead. They are infected by a virus that controls them, but we could potentially reverse some of the negative qualities as fuss eating. Yeah, that's a pretty bad side effect, Doc. They've become their old selves again? Potentially. And you're just thinking of telling us this now? That's mighty convenient, ain't it? Look, we already voted to hang him. My superiors are going to want to know about this. What superiors? Everyone the army has sent in here has been hacked up within hours. Get this straight, man. There is no more army. There is no more USA. There's only us and them. We don't know that. What if he's right? What if he can reverse it? If there's even the tiniest chance! You killed my family! If there's even the slightest chance, he's telling the truth! Cut him down now! <laughs> well now, Doctor, where were we? Oh yes, that's right. What would you need to try to develop a cure? First, I'll need a lab. I already have enough samples to develop a, a cure for myself and start doing clinical trials immediately. A lab like the one at the Army Depot where we met? The one where you murdered my friend in cold blood. Spare us the disgust, Doctor. You murdered the whole world. And yet, I saved you. 